Hello everyone. Welcome to this particular tutorial wherein we are going to discuss about how to create a bullet graph. Either we can rename the sheet, which we'll anyways do now, or we can also write a title. First, let me rename this sheet as bullet graph. And now let us also add a title by right clicking. You can right click anywhere on the worksheet and check the option which says title. Here you can make the changes. You can say, hey, I want this to be bullet graph. Apply and see, yep, the changes are affected now. So I'll click on OK. There we go. In order to come up with a bullet graph manually, this is a process that you need to do, which I'm going to explain in just a moment from now. Or you can expand the show me panel and use this particular default visualization, which is called as bullet graph. Bear in mind that you need to select a minimum of two measures and zero or more dimensions to be able to come up with the bullet graph. All right. Let me collapse the show me panel and let us do this manually because doing it automatically using a default built in visualization would be walk in the park. You can just select the measures and click on that visualization. So now, as part of step one, let us drag sales and drop it on the column shelf. Let us now drag and drop the product subcategory onto the rows. There we go. So we have the sales. Each bar, horizontal bar, represents sales for each and every product. Let me sort this in an order. In the descending order of sales. Now, I want to check what are the sales for each and every product subcategory against the goal that we have set for our organization. We might have set goals, different goals for different subcategories. We need to calculate that. Let me now drag that goal and drop it on the detail. I do not want some of the goal. Instead, I want to take average of the goal. So I'll go to measure average. Now all we need to do is right click on the X axis, which happens to be sales here and select this option, which says add reference line. We want to draw a reference line for the goal. I am going to select per cell. Per cell would separately set goal for each and every product subcategory for each and every cell. All right. What is per pane and what is entire table? Entire table would have a common goal for the entire table there. That is not what we want. Per pane is a little different because we have only one pane here. It is showing you only one value there. However, if you also add, say, product category, let me show you that also. If I add, say, product category here, and since we have selected per pane, for this pane, you have one average reference line. For office supplies, this is considered to be one pane. So you have a separate average reference line there, and you have an average reference line here for the third pane. But that is not what we want. So let me do a control Z and try to remove that product category. Or let me do it in this way. Let me right click on this and edit the reference line because we were planning to come up with a reference line and the scope, which we have thought was per cell because we wanted to know what was the average goal of sales for each and every product. And this blue bar shows you the actual sales. And the reference line is going to show you all the planned goal for 
the sales amount. So here I'm going to do a drop down and say, hey, I want to select the average goal, not the sum of sales. Oh yes, I want to know the average. I do not want any label here because it makes things a little clumsy. So I will drop down on the label and say, I do not want any label. So all the labels are gone now. I would also intend to do some kind of formatting because this line is a little dull or it has a light color. It is not prominently being displayed. So I would do a drop down on the line, select a line with a thicker line and select this black color. Now click on OK. There we go. This is our average goal for the sales and blue bar is the actual sales. It goes to say that office machines product subcategory did not meet the expectations and telephones and communication product subcategory also has not met the expectations. However, you have the expectations for the other bars there. For example, tables, chairs and chairmates have met the expectations, they have exceeded the expectations of the sales. So from that perspective, things are good here. Now, let me also add another reference line. This time I would select distribution. We will very shortly discuss about what do we mean by reference band? What do we mean by reference distribution? All right. Here also we want it for each and every cell. And I do not want the labels to appear. So I'm going to do a drop down and say, hey, I do not want anything. And I want 60% and 80% of average. What does that mean? I'm going to explain you all in a moment from now. Let me say I want the fill above, I want to have the fill below. I do not want fill above, I'll only select the fill below. And I would select a darker color so that it's clear or if this isn't clear, let me see whether this color makes sense. Oh yeah, this makes sense. So let me click on OK now. For this to be very prominent, I'm going to do a drop down and select the entire view. Look at this. So this is your, this blue horizontal bar is the actual sales value for office machines product subcategory. The reference line here, the black line that you see happens to be the average sales goal, which we were expected to meet. The green color here shows that 80% of the average. So if you have the average goal, which happens to be uh, 2.5 million, that is what I'm assuming that number is, okay, 2.5 million. If that's your average goal, then this green line there shows 80% of the average goal. Maybe it'll be clear here. Yep, look at that. 80% of average, since these two are overlapping. Yep, there we go. 80% of average goal is the green line. That means you have crossed 80% of the average goal which was set for this product subcategory. And if I point my mouse on somewhat red color or pinkish color, that's a 60% of the average goal. So the moment you meet the 60% of the average goal, you your blue actual bar would cross that yep so this is how you need to infer the bullet graph let us now spend some time on coming up with the reference bands reference distributions and post that we'll be discussing about word cloud thank you for listening to this video